Hey, I'm Jake Bartlett, and in this short video, I'm gonna share with you my top five tips for creating a Skillshare class using Screencast. It's actually really convenient because it allows me to do things like wear sweatpants if I want to, or hold my son while he's napping while I record. It's one of the simplest ways that you can make a class. All you need is a computer and a microphone, and you'll be well on your way. So to prove it to you, I'm gonna make one right now. So here are my five top tips for creating a Skillshare class using Screencast. Tip number one, make sure that you have good audio quality. Find the quietest place in your house and record there. I chose my son's nursery. I use the Blue Snowball microphone personally. It's an incredibly affordable USB microphone that you can get online. And before you go full blown into recording your entire class, make sure that your recordings are working. Do a test, check that the audio is clear, that the right input is selected on your computer, just so you can save yourself the trouble of having to redo anything. Tip number two, make sure that you create engaging presentation slides. Keep them as simple, consistent, and clear as possible. And try to focus on one core concept or theme per slide. Screencasting works for any type of teaching. For example, if you're an illustrator, you could show pictures of your drawings. From my perspective, I wanna be able to show you what I'm doing in the program that I'm using. Screencasting is a great option for anything that you wanna teach. Tip number three, keep your outline with you. Every one of my classes is planned out in an outline format beforehand. I use mine as a roadmap to keep me on track while I'm recording. You can refer back to your outline between takes to make sure that you're covering all of your bases. Tip number four, teach with confidence. So recording yourself is weird and talking into a microphone is weird. So make sure that you practice your lines until you get comfortable with the whole process. Have fun and don't be afraid to get animated. Nobody's gonna see you. So get up out of your seat, move your hands around and sound engaged because your enthusiasm will show through the recording. Chances are you're gonna get frustrated with yourself at some point, but don't beat yourself up. Take a break, eat some ice cream and come back in 10 to 15 minutes. That makes a huge difference. And finally, tip number five, edit your footage. Remember when you're editing your footage that less is more. Don't tell your students any more than you need to. Stick to the core points of your teaching and your students will thank you for it. Another great thing about screencasting is that you can edit out all of your ums and pauses and make sure that you have good pacing in your edits so that your students can follow along. And just like that, you're ready to post your first class on Skillshare. So go ahead and dive in, have fun, and make your first screencast on Skillshare. I promise that it's actually that easy. And if you need any help along the way, be sure to check out the teacher handbook for tips and tricks.